Hey everybody, it's Todd. I'm gonna do a little uh, out of the box kit review for this uh, disposal area two diorama set. Um, this is the one I've been talking about, and I'm trying to get everybody out there to buy one of these kits. So I figure I'll show you everything that's in it, and maybe that'll spark your interest. Uh, again, I. You can build this thing and use it as one big diorama set, or you can put some of this stuff in with your other uh, eagles and um, other stuff. You don't have to do a huge um, diorama. I mean, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anything to put some lights here and there. Matter of fact, I know somebody's gonna use the light sets to put them in their uh, shelves and use as the lighting for their display shelves. So. Here's an idea for you. So let's get started. Here's the decal sheet. Uh, it's got just about everything on there for the uh, uh, uniforms and the space suits on the uh, astronauts. It's got um, it's got everything. Look at these. Let's see if I can get up close. Uh, it's got all your danger stuff for your um, silo covers. Everything. Nice. Nice nice decal set you can't beat these guys they're getting some good stuff going on um, you know basic instruction sheet okay there's the instructions for putting the figures together you know, your uh, silo covers the moon buggies you get two uh, 148 inch moon buggies and one 124 scale moon buggy is a bonus. You can't beat bonuses. I'm just telling you. So, okay, speaking of the silo covers, looks like these are vac formed parts. You get two of these. Uh, really nice and sturdy. I thought they would be a little more flimsy, but they're, they're pretty sturdy once you. Uh, put them together it's they're gonna look really nice uh, looks like the light kits come in they each individually packed let's open one up let's see what it all it looks like the wiring and light bulbs and everything's in here the only thing you have to do is add your uh, batteries of course they are sealed child proof sealed there we go all right there's your battery box with the wiring look clip-ons they're making it as easy as possible and your light bulbs connected to their wiring so you know you don't have to be an electrician to do this it's gonna be pretty simple there's uh, two sets of those, so there's the other one. And then you got the vac formed moon base uh, yeah, landscape. This is what you put the uh, light stands into right here in these holes. And, you, uh, and that way it stands and you get this effect back here. And you got two, four of those. And they're nice and sturdy. They're not cheap. They're vac foreign, but they're once you paint them up and, and do your thing with them, they're gonna they're gonna look really nice. Alright, then you've got your uh, clear light lenses for each one of your stands. All in one little package, one little sprue. And then you have your light stands. You get eight of these light stands. And uh, I've seen them uh, lit up. So I know they look really nice once they're lit up and, and painted. So here you go. Here's what the light stand sprue looks like. And they're they're done in clear, uh, uh, like a translucent white. So 
you know, once you paint them, these sides will light up like they're supposed to in the in the show, just like up in here. So um, then you got your uh, where you put your bulbs and your lens uh, your lens covers, your plastic lens covers, hollowed out in 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 the back here to uh, receive your wiring in your in your lighting system. So like I said, you get eight of those. Uh, let's see, moon buggies. Here's the sprues for the moon buggy. Looks like you've got this is the this is one of the this is the 124th. No, this is the yeah, this is the 124th moon buggy. So it's all on one sprue. That's pretty darn cool. I've never uh, got two, uh, also two pottets for the moon buggy. I'm not sure why, but round two has sent a second um, top to the moon buggies. Um, I'm gonna guess it was the way that things were done with the tooling that had to have two on it. So there you go. That's the 124th buggy. And here we have the other sprue with one light, uh, two lighting sets right here. And then there's your two, because this is two separate sprues, two uh, 148 moon buggies. Your silo uh, parts that go on the top, and this can be lit if you can, if you get a, a light bulb with a small LED and some wiring and a, like a coin battery. You can uh, you can definitely do a lighting kit on those, so you have the little lights on top of them, kind of like right here. Then there's your one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten figures. So there's eight standing figures, and then four of your moon buggy drivers. And that's quite a lot for a kit for 60 bucks. I don't care what anybody says. And all your arms, you can put them in different positions to make the uh, people carrying you know, some of these cases. I think these are over here somewhere. Yeah, you've got some little um, medical cases or whatever testing equipment you can they can carry. So that's that's the, basically the kit, and uh, that's a heck of a deal for this project. So I suggest go out, get you a set use it in one big diorama or you know just use it for uh bits and parts here set a couple balloon buggies next to your your eagles also on the back of the box you've got different display setups and don't forget your paint your painting instructions are on the bottom shell of the box on the on the uh on the outsides, all four sides. Here's your moon buggies, your people. Some more stuff for your moon buggies and, and uh, all the decal placement and painting and colors. And your silo cover. So you can't beat it. I don't, you know, there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of people saying that's too much money for a kit, but there's no way. If there's any other company, they'd give you half of that for the same price. So there you go. Quick kit review. Get out there and get to buying these bad boys. Support. Round two. Uh, catch you guys later.